Right on. Welcome back to the Vino Rod. Dang it. You're still sanding? Yeah, still sanding on this thing. Finding more problems. Uh, the ones I found today was, uh, was I had about a sixteenth of an inch uh, along this edge here that was higher. So I got that. I got that down all the way across. Uh, so that was just part of finding an issue. Um, I straightened out uh, the fit on here. I've got this, oh, I don't know, a jam uh, line. Um, so I've got it fairly even all the way across. It's fitting pretty good. Um, you know, I can run my torpedo across this. And the reason why I'm, I'm not coming out here is because I could be pressing down on that. So I'm just taking it out here to this far edge and it's fitting pretty good. I've got a good alignment there. Uh, what's gonna end up happening is once I stain this fella, I'm gonna use this uh, burgundy. Color, um, check this out. So just by sanding the top of this car, that's purple, well, that's burgundy. So that's, you know, that's the sweat and it's turning that sawdust that comes just off of the top of this, you know, wine barrel that it, uh, even though it doesn't look like it, but it's, it's in the pores of this uh, grain. And uh, so it just colors me, you know. I might have to take it back. Um, anyway, this, this stuff right here, I can uh, dilute it with uh, denatured alcohol. And this will work up to uh, two uh, quarts. So I can, I can mix this with two quarts. So this is two fluid ounces, so I'll have two and two uh, fluid ounces of uh, uh, burgundy uh, stain, um, but it'll be a transparent. Um, so, I mean, you're still gonna be able to see the grain, but it'll have that burgundy tint to it. And then I wanna go over it with a, a, a lacquer or a, a varnish. So, um, the, uh, the, I've been watching some uh, Chris Craft boat builders, and uh, what they're doing is they're sanding the boat down with 80 grit. So, you know, naturally they'll go across it with 80 grit. And then they come back with 100 grit, and they go with the grain. So once they, once they knock that, 80 grit uh, cut into it, and then once they knock that down, then the, rear, the reason why they're only going with 100 grit is they want the stain to get inside of the, the grain. And then they'll go through and they'll put up to 20 coats of varnish on their stain on those boats. 20 coats. And they're painting it on, they're not spraying it. They're painting it on, and then they're hitting it with scotch Brite, painting another coat, and then around the fifth coat, they hit it with 320, and then the, fifth, the tenth coat, same process, and the tenth coat, 320, same process, the fifteenth coat, 320, and after the twentieth coat, then they start taking it down with two, three thousand wet sand. So, don't, not saying that I'm going to do that, but just the Chris Craft uh, boat builders that I've been watching, their process, great views, man, uh, watching uh, them work on their boats. Uh, pretty cool. But uh, anyway, yeah, lining things out, getting things sanded out, still running into a problem. I, I ran into a screw hole or a screw where I put a, a screw in here. So sanding it down, I showed that one. 
Um, I, there's another one showing up right here, so I'll do the same thing. I'll just take the little Dremel tool and and knock those little screw heads down enough to where I can put some putty in there. I think maybe I've got an idea with some of this putty again. Um, maybe I'm going to take some of this sawdust and knead some of the sawdust in the uh, epoxy putty. I'm going to try that. So, anyway, I'm still at it. I had a little glitch in the uh, system about a month. Had some things going on that I had to take care of. Went on a vacation for two weeks over in uh, Croatia. So, if you don't know where Croatia is, let me do a demonstration here. So, Croatia is right across the street from Italy. So, I know you've all seen Italy, right? So, here's Italy. Well, Croatia, Croatia is right in this area here. And it's a coastal, uh, beautiful country, a uh, lot of uh, Roman, uh, 13, I think, uh, was that a place that was 3rd century? Um, a 3rd century palace uh, that was built by a Roman. Um, so, very cool, cool visit. Uh, so I got back from that and then went directly on to another little uh, trip over to a campground. But uh, I'm back to work. Not, uh, <laughs> not saying I'm going to break any records. I've got a bathroom remodel that I'm doing at the same time. So bear with me. I appreciate you guys watching, sticking with me. And uh, we'll see you soon.